Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to another recap video. Oh, WWE yeah. Fastlane. Yes, Fastlane. Woo, that was pretty good. Oh my god, this tonight's was awesome. Yeah. Um. So previous kickoff match was um Nakamura and Rusev versus The New Day. Come on. Um, I didn't even circle the New Day winning. Mm, New Day won. <laughs> of course. Uh, no Kofi. No Kofi, yeah, no Kofi, because, um, they, um, they said that Kofi had to go to the McCain office to talk about the WWE, um, title Chuck match. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but, yeah, and then when, um... The next, uh, uh the next one, there's a lot of ch changes that happened tonight, like, yeah, last a lot minute. Of, like, a lot of shock things, like... Yeah. Like the one, um, the one, the Rey Mysterio versus Almaz was supposed to be a kickoff show. No, they added that to the, um, United States, the fatal four way for the United States t uh, title against Rusev and R Truth. So that became a fatal four way, uh, fatal four way. Yeah. But the match was. Wait, what was the what was the kickoff? I already said the kickoff match. Wait, there was only one? I thought there was another. Yeah. Nope, it was well, only the one. <laughs> well, the first match was Shane Shane and the Miz versus Ooh, the Bucks. So. Yeah, the Usos. Ooh, so. So for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. And that um. was actually pretty good, but the one thing that cost the match was the Miz, because right at ringside was his dad. So, Miz is climbing the top rope, looking at his dad, trying to get all overconfidence, you know, doing the whole, this is for you, dad. He ends up doing a frog style, but it's the weirdest frog style I've ever seen. <laughs> no, it is basically as he's in mid-air doing the frog style, The usually the frog style is you're bending your knees and your elbow, and then you get out. No, Miz is bending his knees... And then and then he uh, falls right on top of the Usos, but they raise their knee, so the Miz got reversed, and then they pinned him. Yep. So Miz lost. And then after the match, the Miz and Shane McMahon went to go see his dad at the the ringside, and then Shane McMahon just attacks the Miz out of nowhere. Yeah, pretty much. So Shane turned heel, and when they tried to talk to him about it, he's like just laughing. Yeah. Then. Then there was this Elias, and he pretty much was in the ring, just talk. spouting crap on all. He shows up three times tonight. Yeah, the first time he talks about the Miz losing. And then he yeah. starts saying Cleveland sucks. Yep. Second time is um. He was talking about Becky. No. Yeah, Becky. I'm talking about Kofi. Yeah. Kofi getting screwed. And then Cleveland sucks again. And then the third time was... was Becky and the Shield. Yeah, saying how... But even though Becky wins, spoiler, he still says she sucks and Cleveland still sucks. And then Lacey Evans shows up doing yep. her little walk. Can't do uh, walk. But while everybody's distracted with that... Or and out of nowhere. Oh yeah, RKO out of nowhere, and then to Elias, and then a phenomenal forearm out of nowhere to Randy Orton. Yep, WrestleMania match. WrestleMania match is coming. Yeah, Orton versus AJ. But everybody's wondering about the triple threat. Well, let's see. Kofi's waiting outside Vince McMahon's office, and then the other two New Day members just barge in because they're like saying, you've been waiting out here for an hour. And then Vince is like saying, you want your title opportunity? I'll make it a triple threat and happen right now. So Kofi's out there waiting, and no. Nope. It is a, a three-man fight, but it was a handicap match against the bar. Yeah. But... Xavier Woods and Biggie are banned from ringside. Yeah. So it's poor Kofi against the bar. And here's what happens. 
Kofi's there. He's fighting the good fight. And then his buddies show up. But as they're about to head to the ring, Nakamura and Rusev attack them. And then Kofi gets a white noise by Sheamus. And both Cesaro and Sheamus do their 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 thumb thing. Yep. Standing, pinning poor Kofi. Kofi got screwed hard tonight. Yeah, Missy, Missy kept saying it all about Seamus in the front because she's seen him in the page movie. Don't worry. No, don't worry. A lot of people are going to be p uh, pissed because ten the uh, title shot for the WWE Championship is a triple threat. But guess who they picked to replace Kofi? Who no. they think deserves more, who's more deserving than Kofi? But let's call out the next match. Well, you skipped the... Uh, what did I skip? Mandy Rose versus Asuka. Oh, the, is that even, like... Alright, here we go. Mandy Rose versus Asuka. Alright, let's see. They're duking it out. Asuka's basically having the, the one-ups. And every time Asuka's trying to get the, the upper hand, Sonya Deville just interferes with the ref. Then the last time she interferes is she's going to pull out a kendo stick, but the ref catches her, so she puts the kendo stick down, but forgets to pull down the ring curtain. So when Mandy is thrown to the ropes, she trips on the on the uh, the apron, and Asuka kicks her, and Asuka wins it. Yeah. I don't care for Mandy Rose anyway, yeah. so. And then the whole entire time, the whole entire time after that, Mandy Rose uh, doesn't want nothing to do with Sonya Deville. She's like, just don't. Nope. Just don't. Don't just don't. talk to her or nothing. All right. What's the next match? Uh, the Raw Tag Team Titles match. Oh yeah, the tri the tri uh, triple tag team. Yep. Ricochet and Alistair Black versus Rudy Gable versus the Revival. Oh yeah, we already know who what. Well, yeah. Everybody gave it their all tonight. They did. Ricochet did some good flips like he always does. Alistair Black did his good stuff. The revival showing uh, showing off, and yeah. then Chad and Gable. But we already figured who uh, we already, already figured who's going to win. It ain't gonna be Black or Ricochet because they have their tag team match for the Dusty Rhodes uh, Championship in NXT. And it sure wasn't gonna be uh, Rude and Gable because Gable's the weak link. So yeah, the revival. And remember this. Remember the revival used to be just the laughing, the laughing joke of the tag team. Nobody considered them a threat, and now they're champions. Yeah. What's what's going on? What's happening? I don't know. Maybe they're giving the revival a chance. I guess. Even though I don't like him. <laughs> nope. Yeah, and guess what happens? Rude ends up being the sore loser and starts attacking the Revival. Yeah, because the Revival won with a shattered machine to end pinned on Gable. Yeah, Gable. Gable was on the top rope and then they got caught. He got caught, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, Rude did a DDT to him. And then there was like, Mask! And then there was a 6.30 by Rico Ricochet. Alright. So the NXT guys stand tall. So poor revival. Alright. Now for the biggest, con the one of the biggest controversies of tonight. Who is the third person, again, who's the third person in this triple threat between Kevin Owens and Daniel Bryan for the uh, championship? Oh, wait. No. Really? You make me sit all the way over here, and I can't see your your chicken scratch uh, uh, script. Okay, I don't have chicken scratch. Does it matter? Does it doesn't matter what order we go it's in? It's a fate of four way for the U.S. title. Our true Tian Almez, Rey Mysterio, and Samoa Joe. Joe blah, wins. Blah, blah, blah. Joe yeah. wins. There you go. Yeah, Joe won. Um, cause like Ray did a six for nine, and he was gonna do the top rope move, and he got caught. No, he um. I think he uh, missed it because Joe was too clo uh, too close to the ropes, and then Joe just counters it, and he just he gives him the coquina clutch. But there were some good moments in the match, okay. especially when um, 
Vega super kicks our truth to the face, and then Carmella just starts pounding away at her. Yep, turns into a cat fight. Yeah, Alex, I knew something was going to happen. It's probably going to be like our truth and Carmella versus Sienna and Selena Vega. Watch. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, so boss hug connection that's Sasha and Bailey versus Nia Jax and Tamina. For the wi- uh, raw, for the raw, for the women's tag team title. Yep. All right, this is kind of ridiculous because Bo- uh, Bo- uh, Tamina and Nia Jax should be the dominant ones, especially even though Bailey and Sasha are good superstars and stuff. But logically, it should be Tamina and Nia Jax. Yeah. And how does Bailey do a? Uh, b- uh, Bailey to Belly to Nia Jax to win the t- uh, the win- to win the match. There's there's no way. I don't know. <laughs> Suppose she did it. I guess, but it was a little weak one. But yeah, and what's up happening is after the match, um, Tamina and Nia Jax attack Bailey and Sasha, and the person who's sitting at uh, at the announce table is Beth Phoenix, oh. the the Edge's wife. And she sees how dirty they are. She slaps Tamina, and then Nia Jax and Tamina start beating the crap out of Phoenix. And then, Ni- and then out of nowhere, Natalia shows up, and then she gets the crap kicked out of her. So you see a WrestleMania match. Beth, Phoenix, and Natalia versus Nia Jax and Tamina. I thought they were going to crush uh, Beth Phoenix's phone because it was laying right next to her. They probably did. Man, that would really be messed up. Well, well being so big. They'll get, she'll get a new one. All right. <laughs> we have money. All right. Now, now we get to our triple threat. Yeah. All right. Kevin Owens, Poor Daniel Bryan, Bryan, and Fickle. Not Kofi. Nope. And it's sure as hell ain't that rat in your wall. No. Mustafa Ali and everybody was pissed. Yeah, they but were wait, wait, coffee. wait, wait, wait! We also forgot this during the um the the bar versus Kofi. The fans keep ch- uh, chanting, "This was boring." Yeah, they're like, "This is boring." They want Kofi. Yep. This is I wanted Kofi too. So yeah, the entire yeah. time. Well, here's the thing: when Mustafa Ali showed up. Nobody cheered. Nobody booed. It was just quiet. But then in the entire match, everybody's cheering for Kofi. Yep. And it was actually a good match. Yeah, it was a good match. It was a good match. Even Rowan got involved, too. Yeah, of course Mustafa she did. Ali showing off all his moves. But the thing that cost the match was Mustafa Ali was going to do his jumping move. But Daniel Bryan countered it with a Flying, uh, a flying, uh, a flying kick. Yeah, like a, in mid air. During... Run- yeah, it's like a running knee to the air. Yeah, and he won the title there. And then after that, he summons Eric Rowan to attack the 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 defenseless Mustafa Ali. Yeah. But before that actually starts, Daniel Bryan's in the middle of the ring, pointing you to, pointing to both Kevin Owens and. Mustafa Ali saying, you guys don't deserve it, and you don't deserve the title. I have a purpose. I am the, I am the planet's champion. Kevin Owens just grabs the finger and just almost tries to break it on Daniel Bryan. So that was a bit funny. Yeah. That was, that was pretty, pretty good match. I thought that match was good. All right, Even that. though Kobe Kingston should have been in it. Yeah. He's oh. going to be in WrestleMania with Flash. They're gonna, make him, they're gonna have let him have a WrestleMania. Moment. The only way that's gonna happen is if the fans just too, don't watch Raw or SmackDown. The ratings just go down. No, no, for um, SmackDown, the ratings plummet. In one day, uh, in one week, like one night, the pl- ratings just go dangerously low. Then every, then they have to quit. And have to do it. Yeah. And everybody's gonna know that they make the match because you got the internet. So why watch it on TV? That's the only way this is going to happen. Because 
they're hyping it up for Kofi to actually win the title. But then again, they could also hype it up where Kofi's close and then he gets screwed. Because everybody's getting screwed. Yeah. Braun Strowman's not even a match. Uh, Braun match Strowman gets screwed. Uh, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Kofi. Well, Becky didn't get screwed tonight. Well, not really. No. Yeah. Speaking of it, Becky Natural and Charlotte. Match. And they're duking it out. Charlotte's going after the knee. Of course. Going after her hurt knee. But, but guess what? Mocking her. But guess what? Halfway through the match. Yeah. Who shows up? Ronda Rousey and she runs in like a bat of hell and she just uh, punches Becky. Yep, and punches. Wi- like, wi- and Becky wins via disqualification. So she's in the triple threat. Yeah. I was like, that's what I wanted. She comes in, punches Becky, then she leaves. Yep, casually walks up the ramp. Yep. And she's like, yep. And I Charlotte's not happy. Charlotte is not happy with Becky that. Becky is. She's all smiling. Yep. We thought Charlotte was going to get crazy. Yeah. We'll Char- get out the Kindle set. Charlotte is already crazy. She's Ric Flair's daughter. Even though mm-hmm. she did the move in the ring. She's already crazy. How she- many souls of young children... Has uh, her father consumed, and then when she ca- uh, was conceived, that's how she gets so good. She feeds on the souls of young kids and people. I thought she would get out the Kindle stick. Uh, and now the main event for one time only. Oh, the Shield yeah. versus Baron. Well, it's the last time. Well, oh, let's yeah. see. We already know why, or we have our things up. For my Roman. Dean. Just, just do it for Seth. Yeah, <laughs> Seth is the third boy. Do it for Seth. I am not doing it for Seth. <laughs> that Power Ranger uh, wannabe. Oh, I am not doing it. Hey, I got Dean. I got my Roman. Seth. Here you go. Yeah, put it up for Seth. Seth deserves it too. <laughs> All right, Seth gets this. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> All right, Seth well, may be third on my list, but he's still awesome. Well, anyway. I don't doubt it, but... But that alt match was awesome for the last match for the shield. Everything's going crazy. Got my shield shirt on. I would have worn my Roman, but... They I actually... got the Lion King, but... Eh, <laughs> it's alright. Seth and Dean take Bobby Lashley and McIntyre to the... Um, the kickoff pr- uh, pre-show um, announce table. Yeah. Seth actually jumps off the 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 top stairs in order in, into the pile. They shield power bomb um Bobby uh no they 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 uh power bomb McIntyre into the table. They power bomb Baron Corbin in the ring, which was the best. Oh yeah, well after uh, what well, not until they um what was it they super kicked him, uh Superman punched and dirty deeds him. Oh, yeah, all their signature moves. Yep. That was just awesome. This match has so much awesomeness in it. Just... The reason why it, it, we're not going to see them is right after WrestleMania, but during the Superstar Shake-Up, Dean's heading to some other wrestling oh, thing. Oh, I don't know. I heard. I'm we know. Sure. It's the ending concert- of his contract. Confirmed. And the same thing is happening to Roman Reigns. And Seth is... Well... Seth's probably just staying behind. But... Mm... But I feel this. I feel the reason the superstars are leaving is because I we 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 know it. We notice it. WWE is not like how it used to be. It's it's an, I don't know what it's gone it, from. No, it's gone from like the campy fun, the fun campy writing dialogue fighting to basically like. MTV style trash, like drama, garbage fighting. It's just not fun anymore. I mean, like, ever since the McMahon's came back into power, it's gone crappy. Screwing superstars that deserve it. Yeah. Superstars leaving. The only good thing that ha- that happened is watching the fighting with my family yesterday. Yeah, that was good. The only movie I've ever seen that was actually that good, or at least on that level, was Mickey Rourke's The Wrestler. But it was actually pretty good. Yeah. 
it was actually pretty fun. Like, it was actually heartfelt and stuff in some spots. And was it, did uh, The Rock produce it? I, I think so. I don't know. So it's actually good. But, yeah, Shield was awesome. That's all I have to say about that match. Tonight was actually pretty good. Yes. At least, well, let's see. You have to make the last pay per view before WrestleMania good, otherwise, it's just gonna be like a sour taste in your mouth. But now, we gotta figure out what's gonna happen on Tuesday and Monday. We gotta find out what happens yeah. tomorrow on Tuesday. We already know that there's gonna be an Intercontinental title match. Yeah, Finn Balor and Bobby Lashley. We're gonna probably see Dave yeah. Batista and Triple H in the same ring again. Yep, face off. That is if it, if uh, uh, Batista actually shows up. Yeah, if Drax. All right. Well, That's that, pretty was, much that it. pretty much was fast yeah. lane. So how'd you like it? Yeah. What did you thought about it? Did you give it a thumbs up? A fist pump for the shield? What? Yeah. Well, let us know. We liked it out. You know? Yeah. So um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.